Every year, over 11,000 members of the Canadian Armed Forces leave the military and return to civilian life. Every veteran's story is unique and a successful transition involves navigating a host of different programs and supports, from education and training to help springboard into a new career, to medical and health services to manage injuries and illness. We also understood that people had a lot of stress when they were going through this the difficult decision making process about when is the right time for me to leave uh, military service and do something else. Um, and then once they've made the decision, there was still a lot of stress about what happens next. There was a lot of information, but it wasn't all in one place. Our vision for the future would be to engage with members as early as possible to ensure that they have time to fully prepare for the transition post-military life having the information and tools that they will need to plan and execute the transition process at their fingertips is a huge step forward. Currently, there's no one-stop shop for transitioning members. The tools and support that outgoing service members need are spread across many different departments, platforms, physical documents, and on-site service centers. Ultimately, we need to have a, a system that is member-centric. And the best way to do that is to leverage digitization, digital means, and, and ultimately leverage the use of data to better assist the system. And then the challenge was, how do we realize that? How do we make that happen? And that's where C4C kind of played a, a key role. The Canadian Armed Forces Transition Group partnered with Code for Canada to bring in a team of fellows to help create member-centric digital tools that can better meet the needs of veterans. And transition is really important because Members, a lot of time members are 30 years of service. Um, you know, they, they join when they're 18 and they're getting out when they're 45. So this is a, a different world for them. Our main goal was to help our veterans to more easily and successfully integrate into our civil, uh, civilian society by designing a user-centric military to civilian transition uh, digital platform. Uh, as a former military member that has undergone the transition uh, the prospect of being part of the next evolution of military transition is very appealing to me. We quickly came to, to realize from guided by the fellowship team that what members really looking for these days is a way to tailor information. So to go from the transition guide to a my transition guide. Bringing their digital expertise, the fellows introduced modern ways of working to the team. In regular project panels and sprint reviews, Fellows shared their work in progress, demoed what they had built, and collected feedback to inform their next iteration. The project panels and sprint reviews were a great opportunity to catch up on what was being accomplished by the fellowship team. As part of those sprints, um, the different groups would come to the table and it would stimulate uh, discussion of different ideas uh, and different um, enablers. We created these mock workflows that outlined how we will achieve everything in a phased approach. We highlighted the need for iterative and incremental delivery of features and requirements. And it worked. Together, the team came up with a working prototype that could refine through user research. So we have a functional prototype uh, without a backend, uh, which gave, gave us uh, quite a bit of flexibility with experimenting because we were able to provide um, realistic experience to the users when we were testing. What impressed me even more uh, was uh, one of the members of the fellowship reached out to the veteran community for people that had recently released to actually get them to look at the prototype and to provide their input and their feedback because we want to make sure that it's, it's a usable and friendly program that is accessible to all. And the fellowship team helped us to design uh, that prototype where from that one location, the member can do their research, they can apply for a consultation, they can access um, the checklists um, to build their transition plan. And from there, eventually, the transition advisors and release administrators will be able to provide them in near real time comments and advice. It builds the members confidence that the information they need is at their fingertips. By working across departments to strengthen relationships, 
fellows helped to create a shared vision between the Canadian Armed Forces, Veterans Affairs, and various IT departments to move a patchwork of projects to a single unified direction, ultimately meeting the original goal, helping new veterans. And before the fellowship, uh, we had a vision, but the stakeholders, especially in the digital area who were um, involved in realizing that vision were very fragmented. Uh, each one was kind of working on their own project that was somewhat related to a digital transition center, but not quite. Now that C4C has played kind of that leadership role in, in helping coordinate various technical groups to complement our operational groups, um, I've, seen, I've seen bridges built uh, within CAF so that the digital enablers within CAF are now working together. Well, collectively, we gained a lot of knowledge about what was possible and how we could bring it together.